Hello, I'm Dr. Thomas Boyce. I'm a pediatric infectious diseases physician at Mayo Clinic Children's Center. I'd like to talk with you today about recurrent fever in children. This is something that I see quite frequently. For some children, this is due to recurrent infections. However, if the fevers recur at regular intervals, it's important to consider the possibility of a periodic fever syndrome. The most common periodic fever syndrome is called FAPA, P-F-A-P-A, which is an acronym for the common symptoms. In addition to the fever, some children will have mouth sores, sore throat, or enlarged lymph nodes in the neck. The episodes typically begin sometime in the first five years of life and recur every three to five weeks or so. The fevers are high grade, usually around 104 or 105 Fahrenheit, and last for a few days and then resolve on their own. The main treatment for FAPA is prednisone. A low dose is given at the onset of the fever, and typically the fever resolves within a couple hours of receiving the medication. When given in that fashion, prednisone is very safe. The prognosis for FAPA is excellent. Uh, most children will outgrow their episodes within a few to several years. The episodes themselves are not harmful, and parents are generally relieved to find out that their child does not have a serious illness as the cause of their fevers. We here at Mayo Clinic Children's Center are able to evaluate the child with recurrent fever and determine if they have a periodic fever syndrome or some other cause of their recurrent fevers.